Hi and welcome back to Days Well Spent. In today's video we're going to finish setting up our hydroponic system. That's going to involve getting the water added and planting our seeds. Now this plant here was planted right about a week ago and this one was actually the first set that we planted and that was about a month ago. It's actually I think five weeks ago. As you can see we have a nice healthy root system and we've been harvesting from these for a couple of weeks. Now we're going to walk you through setting up the system but I would still suggest that you read through the instructions completely once before setting it up and then you can follow along with the video or follow along with the instructions when you go to set yours up. Now something I wanted to mention is before you set your unit up or at least the day before you want to plant you do want to make sure that you soak your seeds overnight. Our unit did not come with seeds, but what we're going to be growing is some red salad bowl lettuce, some cilantro, oak leaf lettuce, and then some chives. The reason I chose these is because other than the cilantro, all of the different lettuces I chose are going to grow at about the same rate to about the same finished height. You don't have to do that. I just thought that it would work better for adjusting the light for our situation. Now it's time to go ahead and get the unit ready to add our water and plants. So the first thing we want to do, because the outlet is on the bottom, is we're going to flip it over and it plugs in right here. We're not going to plug it into the wall yet. And you're going to run your cord through this little notch. Now it's time to get our water mixed up. So you're going to take your two plant foods and you have plant food A and plant food B and you're going to unseal the bottles and if you shake them around you'll hear that there's some little pellets in there. Those are the chemicals that are going to control the pH and the nutrients in the water. You want to peel back the seal and fill the jars with water and then mix them well. And we're going to take five milliliters from bottle A and bottle B and each one is going to be mixed with one liter of plain water. If you have rainwater, I would suggest using that. So now we have two liters of water that is mixed with five milliliters from A and five milliliters of B's nutrient. It's been mixed well and we're ready to get it added to our unit. We're gonna take our fill meter, and we're gonna place it on top over here. This is the minimum, that's the maximum. It just slides down. Then we have a rubber stopper in the back corner. We're going to pull that out. This is where we want to add our water. Now before I add the water, I'm going to go ahead and place the light back on, but I'm going to extend it all the way up first so it's out of my way. You can see we are above the minimum, but we've not gone above the maximum. I'm going to go ahead and take my rubber stopper and place it in that back corner hole that we removed it from. In these three here, I did my chives. These three here are my red leaf lettuce. And then here I'm doing my oak leaf lettuce. If you're not sure about the viability of your seeds, we do have a germination test video you can use to check, or you could go ahead and plant a few extra seeds in each, each of the little pods. And now finally, these three are gonna be my cilantro. These are all new seeds that I purchased just to use in this growing system. So I haven't done a germination test, but I am putting two in each pod just to be sure. Go ahead and get it plugged in. All right, guys, so our unit is all set up. Our seeds are in the growing medium, it's plugged in our unit. You can see that our unit's getting power because this little light here next to the word power is lit up and blinking. So we're gonna push power. Hopefully you guys saw that light just came out from around the unit. It automatically defaults to vegetables, which is perfect since we're growing lettuce, but you do have the option to switch it to flowers. 
Now the difference between vegetables and flowers as far as the unit is how long the light and the pump are going to stay on and off. These automatically cycle so you have nothing to worry about. Just select what you're growing. Now to keep the area humid, we've got these little domes that we put on and you want to leave these in place until they sprout. As soon as they start sprouting, you'll remove the dome. They may sprout at different times. It depends on what you're growing. With these little lids, you're going to get some increased humidity, which is going to cause them to sprout much sooner. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys down below. Do you see all that wonderful lettuce growing? Let me get the camera adjusted and tell you about what's been going on since I started this video and then concluded the video today. Okay, so let's talk about what's been going on. Um, I recorded the first video and that we put up on unboxing and setting up the unit and the beginning clips to this video um, on how to get your seeds started, make your water and all that, about five and a half, maybe six weeks ago, um, right at the end of a school semester and right before I went out of town. So I got everything set up and headed out of town for uh, five days. When I came back, everything looked amazing. It was great to go out of town, have the light turn off and on automatically, the plant was getting nutrients and being watered, and I came back to the start of a beautiful um, bed of lettuce. Fast forward to where we're at now. We've been harvesting from this lettuce um, for a couple of weeks now. And then I actually replanted over here. Let me turn this so you guys can see. This is some more of the um, oak leaf lettuce. I've got it going and move those back too. And I've actually been able to restart a whole nother section of lettuce. This unit is working great for us. In fact, um, I'm already considering purchasing another unit to have a separate. So we have one set up just for lettuce and then another one that we get going with some other herbs or vegetables. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Um, getting started with hydroponics has been incredibly easy. It really is as easy as setting your unit up, planting your seeds, and then just harvesting. This has definitely been one of those things that I wish we had gotten started with sooner. If you have any questions about getting started with hydroponics or the system that we're using, let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. And as always, be sure to visit dayswellspent.com.